We'll do a GDB, GNU debugger quick start. What we'll do is we will debug, we will write and debug a, a very simple C program in the C programming language on Ubuntu Linux 14.04 and we'll show you how to connect to it, print some variable values and step through the program. So the first thing we'll want to do is write a, a really simple C program. We'll call this debug.c and let's do our skeleton. And we'll just create some integer variables so we can see those being assigned and print the values out with the debugger. And then we'll just print one of the variable values out. And let's save it and exit. And the first thing you'll want to do when you compile your program that you want to debug, you'll want to give it the dash G flag so that we can use the GNU debugger with it and the program name and we'll name our program uh, debug so to start the debugger with your program use the GDB command and the name of your program and what that'll do is it'll start the GNU debugger and it won't run the program or anything it just sets it and runs it and if we want to sets it and gets it ready to run and if we want to run it we just do the run command and it printed the value of A out and it exited it exited normally so you can see that so the first thing that you want to probably do is use the list command to list the C program so inside the debugger you can see the the, the lines of code in the program that you wrote and we can see that we've got 14 lines in here so another option with the list you can do list from 1 to line 14 and that'll print the entire program out for us so probably the first thing that you're going to want to do with your debugger is set a breakpoint so f the easiest way to set a breakpoint is with a function name so we could with a function name which is main that's one way we could do it we could say create a breakpoint at this function or we could say create a breakpoint at this line number. And these are probably the two easiest and most common ways that you'll you'll be setting your breakpoints. So let's set a breakpoint at line 7. So we'll set the breakpoint here and when we run our program it'll get to this line and it'll halt and we can examine our program. So we'll do break 7 and that'll create a breakpoint at line 7 and we can rerun our program with the run command. And you can see that we just were about to execute line 7. So whenever you hit your breakpoint, it's going to stop right before it executes this. So you can actually examine uh, your local variables. You can do info locals and then it'll print all your local variables. And you can see A is 0, so it executed that already. And you can see our values of B, C, and D are not yet set because those lines haven't been executed yet. So we can use the next command to actually step one line at a time and we'll step into this command here and set B to 1. And you can see after you hit the next it'll print what the next line that we'll execute. So if we do info locals again you can see now our value of B is 1. And another thing that you can do is you can use the print with a variable name. So we can print the value of A by itself or print B and you can see the values of those and then the next thing I'll do is set a breakpoint at 11 where we're printing our value and if we set the breakpoint there and we're now at a breakpoint and we're stepping through if you want to continue your program and have it start executing normally again and run through the end of the program or run until it hits another breakpoint you use the continue command um, so hit con continue and it'll start executing and it will should break at line 11 which it just broke at. And if you want to look at all of your breakpoints in your program, you can do info B or info break, and it'll print out all your breakpoints. So you can see we have two breakpoints, and they'll have a number associated with them. Uh, I've got breakpoint one, breakpoint two. And you can see the lines that the breakpoints are set at. So if you want to delete, another option that you can do is delete a breakpoint. So we can do D2. So we've got uh, that breakpoint removed now. So we do info B again. We see we've only got this one breakpoint. 
And if we hit continue to have our program continue running, it exited normally, printed our value out. And if we run it again, you can see we still hit that first breakpoint at line 7. And if we hit the continue again, the program will continue running. And lastly, we'll delete the first breakpoint. D1, you can use shortcuts for delete. So we should have just deleted that breakpoint. So now we've got no breakpoints or watch points, and we can hit the run. And the program uh, ran to completion this time with none of our breakpoints. So uh, a quick recap is you'll want to use this to step through some of your C programs. And uh, this should give you an idea how you can start your program with the GNU debugger, kick it off, set breakpoints, and print values of your different variables. So this is very useful in debugging a program uh, when you have a calculation that's incorrect or your program has a bug in it. You can step through the your code line by line and investigate and check values of your different variables and objects at different points. I'll give a link to the example code uh, in the links below.